Hello and welcome to the Skunk Quarks. So, today I'm trying to sort out something. I'm making this little recovery module. And I'm going through it and testing part by part. This is just a basic launcher that I use for testing, which is just one thumper booster and a couple of separatrons with two oversized separatrons as well. That just kicks up high enough to glide test things. So, for testing today is the KNES mod. Um, this is one of my favourite mods at the moment. I'm playing an awful lot with these things and trying to incorporate them. And the reason is I do a lot of stuff with the Kerbal, in Kerbal Inventory System and Kerbal Attachment System. And these have a massive capacity for that. So all I've done is I've created a little version of this. Uh, that little bit you've just seen separate is some extra mono propellant, some solar panels for in orbit and some TAC life support stuff. Um, the idea for this being it's a resupply ship, but it can also take up KISS parts if required. So inside this at the moment is three orange tanks that are fully fueled and they're just in the Kerbal inventory system to weigh it down because KISS does affect the weight of your vehicle. And all I'm doing is I'm trying to sort it out so that it, it flies well. Now these fly normally by having a really overpowered torque wheel in them. And I'm not a big fan of that. So what I do is I disable it and have a look at how to have a look at how they can glide without, and add things, add fins and things like that, uh, just in case I run out of power or something else goes wrong. I prefer things not to rely on the torque wheel uh, for glide landings, at least, especially because at some point in the future the mod maker might change how they're actually doing this, um, and then it will be relying on the ability to glide. So. All it has is a couple of monopropellant engines and then you can see the fins on the back which are just for nice subtle glide landings just to just for a bit of attitude control. So this is my first attempt and I see how badly it's going and as you can see I slam into the water so hard to actually breach the water and it tears off the, fa the actual fins at the back of this. So I don't think that's good enough because this is supposed to land on the ground, not in the ocean, and I don't think it would survive that heavy an impact. So, onwards! So, here we go again, a little bit faster for those that are viewing at home. So, up to height, drop the booster, drop the supplies package because that's not coming back to Kerbal. And then a little bit of a spin and a rotation. Now the torque wheel is enabled at the moment, but I'm just testing something. And bolts. So, one more time! Off we go, there you can see. I've actually dropped one of the orange fuel tanks. There was four of them. I've dropped down to three just to see how it works. And I've added some wings and little finlets at the back, which are from the Wild Blue Industries. Uh, the buffalo mod I do believe and bollocks so four tins this time a couple of extra wings put the uh, winglets from the wild blue mods to the front to see what happens and there we go typical separations and now it seems to glide a little bit better so try and turn around now this is how I usually go through testing whether it can work at low level before messing about with any of the on entry stuff. Um, and what I'm actually doing is reverting, but I take money off when I do this, just so that it sort of works. Because this is in my main contract save, and as you can see... Ah! Next! Another booster height, booster separation, re-entry module separation. And as you can see, the winglets at the front are now bigger ones. Damn it! Again! One more time! Bit of instability in launch. And we go for punting everything off. And a typical glide slope. Now this seems to be gliding a bit better. Now I've actually disabled the torque wheel. Um, Let's have a look to see what's happening. Seems to be going well. Hey, a good landing. Bollocks! Damn it, that front landing gear. So, one more launch. 
Now there's been a little bit of shifting about of flight surfaces. I'm still using the three landing gear. And we get a nice smooth and gentle loop. That looks very nice. Now this looks promising, so we slow down to real speed. We glide in, the gear down. Seems to be working quite well. Now I'm coming in fairly steep, but I'm trying to preserve a bit of speed just to give me some lift because I'm carrying a heavy load. Just a little bit of tilting, trying to stay at least on the runway. Bit of flaring. Damn it! That front landing gear keeps flipping me. Again! Disabled show! Ditch one, ditch two. Doing our magic loop. Back round we come. Torque wheel is off. Slow it down again, just to see what happens. Now I've doubled up the front landing gear this time, as you can see. To try and stop it tipping forward when it slams in, it always seems to tip forward, and when the nose tips the ground... Ah! That happens! <sighs> again! I'm so sick of this bloody plane. But this is the development. This is the horrible and brilliant thing about Kerbal. You can spend an entire day designing one vehicle. Try not to hit me on booster on the way back. No torque wheel again. Coming in for the smooth glide. Realised I didn't have stability control enabled. So it's flipping all over the place. Is it going to work? Is it? Air brakes out, which I've now added. These are the smaller ones from Wild Blue. Ah oh, ha ha! It touches down! Oh, it touches down. Deploy the brakes. Ah, the first successful landing. Oh, it's fantastic. It looks so lovely. So pretty. Why am I not stopping? Oh no, not the light. Ah, we missed a light. Ah, we're all good. Just a long braking time. Well, isn't that confusing? And a very long braking time. And still going. Okay, this is taking a piss now. Seriously? Okay. Now, we have a successful landing, so I want to test this thing empty, so now it has no internals in it. As you can see by the fact that the crew managed to get knocked out there on the ascent. Um, there is no orange tanks in this, it's completely empty, it's just got a standard complement of stuff. Still full monopropellant, but I don't think that'll make too much a difference to this. But now I'm thinking about it in post production, I'm actually going, no, I might shift the balance of weight. So we'll see what happens. But back down. And as you can tell, this is a little bit more responsive. But such a beautiful landing. A little bit of a wobble. But manageable. And look at how quickly we're slowing down compared to the last time. Aha! We finally have a successful vehicle. So, there you go. A very quick video of what has taken me a couple of hours today. But, I thought that was a good show of the KNES mod. Um, and the other things that I'm basically coupling in it, if it's not stock, then it's from the Wild Blue Industries. Um, the little tanks on the back are both from the Wild Blue Industries Mole mod. Uh, which has 1.875 parts and fits this mod perfectly and those fins that you can see on the front of it and the air brakes are both from the Wild Blue Industries Buffalo mod. So, definitely worth a look and I will see you next time. Goodbye.